boys and girls thanks for coming back appreciate if you are the first time here please make sure you subscribe yeah subscribe and hit the bell button so google can send you some notification anyway let's talk about wall street and casino who does think that wall street is like a casino i mean if you think they are not you're totally wrong wall street is the biggest legal casino on the planet that's how they can make tons of money and the only loser here are mainly little guys institutions they don't lose only the little guys are going to lose by the way this series of wall street it might be in three four videos uh, i don't want to drag you guys for an hour video so i'm going to do a short video not a short 30 second short maybe seven eight minutes and then go from there so what i think about wall street wall street is the biggest biggest casino basically and the only way you can make money in wall street is if you have tons of money you can invest and hold your money at the end of the day there's a bunch of tax loop this and that that's going to cause you to pay uh, some money back so that's why it's like a casino and casinos the same way you know nobody wins as casinos house always win and that's why wall street always win by the way i have my india uh, cop so if i have subscriber for from india thanks for subscribing mm. it's a great coffee I'm a big coffee fan, so I got new some. I have some coffee mug printed coming. So anyone wants, I'm gonna ship it to them. Let's talk about why do I think Wall Street is a casino? Well, good question. But do what's the answer? The answer is, let's say if you invest, let's say you pick up a stock, any stock, okay? Let's say just the Tesla. So Tesla about two years ago was like $749 and then went up to $1,250. If you would have cash out, which most people, because human beings are greedy. Yes, greed is part of our lives. Without the greed, we are not human. I mean, animals are greedy too, but humans are more greedier than animals. So went to $1,250, did you sell it? You know, I know people that they had a bunch of sell, uh, a stock of Tesla, they didn't sell it. Then the stock came down and then it split to one, uh, five to one. And then again, went up, still got there, but they didn't sell it. Now it's done to like, I don't know, it's like 190, 185, 200. So, this guy is not making money. If you would have sold it like a year and a half ago at the 1250, you would have made, if you had a thousand share, you, you would have made 400 some thousand dollars. But then there's a loophole here. They say if you sell it in one year, first year, you're gonna be tax capital gain. So that's why it holds you there. It's the same idea of a casino that if you guys watch the movie Casino, they want the player to sit there and play and not go out, not to leave. Longer you are in casino, you have a higher chance of losing in casino. So that's one reason I'm saying they are the same. Uh, but can we get away from these things? Yes, you can. If, if you see a, a stock that you bought a stock, you made like, 50% get out get out pay that tax you're better off that way trust me you're way better off that way if you don't get out it's, it's going to catch up with you and someday you're going to lose your butt off but let's have a coffee mm. what a good coffee 
uh, it's it's a very dark roast coffee so that's one reason that I am saying that Wall Street it's like a casino so you walk into a casino they want to hold you there as long as they can so they make more money off of because eventually if you're even winning in the beginning you're going to start losing it's the same thing in Wall Street you pick up a stock let's pick up a stock tomorrow and buy 10 share of it you know if you win let's say hundred dollars okay if you want to wait till like that you're starting to become like go to the moon that's just not going to happen that's just once in a while it will happen once in a while not all the time like that dogecoin crap like i had a dogecoin i will i i bought it when nobody knew about the dogecoin if i would have kept my dogecoin the amount of dogecoin i had i would have made a million dollars but i only made maybe seven eight thousand dollars from my dogecoin because I didn't kept it. I have, but yeah, the, this time I got unlucky. I, if I would have kept it, but this is the key. If I would have kept that, okay, I sold it in like January, fe February. Yeah, February. If I would have kept it till March 21st when it went to 72 cents, yeah, I would have had a million dollars. But the question is, am I going to sell it then? Or am I going to try to be greedy? This is where the greed comes in. Greedy. And go on and on and on. And the same 72 cents now is like 8, 9 cents. Anyway, I'm going to continue this tomorrow. Because I don't want to give you guys a, too much of a headache on this. And thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe. Bye-bye. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day.